Inkle is back with another literary hit for your iOS or Android devices. Sorcery 3 is hot off the heels of 80 Days' of success at the end of 2014, which firmly cemented Inkle's place as the best interactive fiction developer that you can find on any app store. The Sorcery games present you with a choose-your-own-adventure story, just as the sourcebooks had done many years ago. This is the third app-stroke book in the series written by veteran British game designer and writer Steve Jackson. Featuring the quirky old fantasy artwork of John Blanche, which itself brings very welcome, unique visual components to many story sections. The creatures and people in particular look fantastic. They are simple drawings, but of characters you won't be forgetting easily. Graphically, there is plenty going on for a game which basically swaps the turning of pages for the pressing of buttons. This game stitches together parchment after parchment of text that you read, say, and think over the course of your journey. There aren't any big graphical changes over the first two games in the series, which fans will be happy about because it invokes the same feeling of playing these older games. This feeling of familiarity is helped by the familiar sound design. As you play, you hear the ambiance of the locations around you, and the whipping and zapping of your magic as it descriptively crackles through the air, for example. Even the title tune let me know that a big and unforgettable adventure was awaiting me, and when you're all alone in the dark, barren wilderness, you really feel alone thanks to some very engrossing sounds. The story is exceptional. In fact, that's what you'll be playing for. Sure, you can die after making some silly or unfortunate decisions, but rewinding to restart from any previous location means that there is no real punishment for screwing up. Those who managed to not play the first two sorcery games might feel a little lost about why there are so many spells and how each one needs to be used, and new players to the series might also miss subtle details about places, items or people that were mentioned before Sorcery 3. But that can be easily remedied by going out and playing the first two sorcery games. The story leads you through the beautifully contoured map, revealing so many more locations in the backlands than you would initially think were available. With new features to the series, such as the beacons that really extend the expected gameplay time, giving a richer experience for the player. You can go back to places to try out new items or spells, or to continue conversations with most of the colourful characters. I did find it a little frustrating when you pick up really useful clues that seem to be exactly what is logically needed to solve an old puzzle, yet the spell you think would work isn't even an option, or you die unexpectedly. But that sort of thing doesn't happen very often. Still, like I said, there's plenty to do with the spell that can be cast, and even failure progresses the story with often insightful clues and gameplay information. You can't get a good feeling for what it is like to actually play the game from watching someone play it, or even from listening to a review of it. It feels more like reading an engrossing book than playing a game, and for some, that is an experience that is hard to beat. I'm not much of a reader myself, but Sorcery 3 tells the story in such an enjoyable way that you can't put it down. In fact, there is a rewind mechanic, so playing through any area of the game again can open new items and routes that were unavailable in previous playthroughs. I give Sorcery 3 a spellbinding 7 out of 8. It is another excellent example of interactive fiction and contemporary game design, meaning that this game certainly is no different compared to the first two games in the series, although it feels even bigger. I highly recommend playing the first two games before jumping into this new title especially considering that these games feature a cloud save so that your actions in earlier titles can affect how you play this new game. I personally will be playing Sorcery 3 again and again until Ink will release the final chapter, hopefully later this year. I know, I could use a foresight spell. Where'd I put my spell book? Hello guys, this has been a Killer Bits video. Thanks for watching this review. Please leave a thumbs up on YouTube for us. And please also press that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future Killer Bits videos. You can follow more Killer Bits news at Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the Killer Bits, and on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash the Killer Bits.